So Bunny. Yes. This is the opening of the show, and I feel that since I was uh, recently fired by the store that must not be named, I feel that each week I should take some time in the beginning of the show to sort of explain how I'm doing and what's coming up for me. Yes. Uh, Steve Rising is what you called it on the podcast on SoundCloud, I think, which is awesome. Was it Steve Rising? (laughs) Mr. Mr. Steve Steve Rising. Rising. Mr. Steve Rising. Okay, it's cool either way. No, not Mrs. Steve Rising, Maxwell. Thank you for chiming in, but but no. Um, I am very close to announcing a partnership with a local nonprofit. Awesome. That 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 should be giving me a place to do story time once a month. I, I, I'm very close. I'm very so close to to announcing this officially but i still have a one or two more phone calls and conference calls and and i just i just filled out a lot of paperwork and and i think i need to go down and and meet somebody and shake some hands i'm I'm very hopefully within the next like week maybe week and a half i should be announcing that so very excited about that Cool. So uh, also, also, I can confirm my appearance at an event at, in Norman, uh, Oklahoma. I'm going to be doing an event at Norman North High School on April 21st. It's an event called Heroes on the Court. And it's a charity basketball tournament between first responders. And it's to raise money for the Norman Police Department and a Norman nonprofit. Uh-huh. I'll be doing a number of story times there for a good cause. That's uh, April 21st from 10 a.m. to 12.30, and I'm very excited for that. And also non-story time related, I'm also very excited about Spring Break! <laughs> okay. Why are you so excited about so, Spring Break? So, uh, because the kids will be off school, uh, the teens will be off school, and most importantly, my wife will be off school. She's very close to getting a to getting uh, to finishing college and getting a degree. Awesome. Very, very close. So we may or may not be going on a road trip during spring break. Yeah. There, there has been talks of going to Tejas. Tejas. Yes, Tejas specifically just outside of Austin, Texas, to, vi- to visit a very cool a- and fun brewery called Family Business Brewery. They just opened, and it uh, uh, seems really fun, and there are tours. And, okay, fine. It's a supernatural brewery, okay? You beat it <laughs> out of me, bunny. It's owned. It, it 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 it's a it's a brewery that that was just recently opened and owned by uh, Dean Winchester. Okay. So so it, it's a big deal for my wife. But there's a number of places that I want to go to if we're going to be at Austin, Texas. I want to go to the Museum of the Weird or the Alamo Draft House has always yeah. been a place I wanted to go to. And also there's this place called Pinballs. It's one of the largest collection of pinball games. Awesome. In in like uh the Southwest. They've got a lot of pinball games, Max. Well, you can actually go to their website and uh, see all the pinball games that they have at, at any given moment. And also, spring break falls on my birthday. And as as everybody knows, I'm turning 24 years old. Galindo Mass. Uh huh. Yeah. So so what what we may be doing also on spring break is uh, the kids might just be kind of hanging out on their own. And Natasha and I may or may not be going back to our 10th anniversary hotel in downtown Oklahoma City. Uh huh. We 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 decided. It, we were looking for things to do for our 10th wedding anniversary. And as it turns out, uh, there was a Primus concert in downtown Oklahoma city, which was also around about the time that, uh, Avengers two was coming out in theaters. Yeah. So we decided to, uh, yeah. So we decided to, to, to go to a hotel for like two, two, two days, I think three days, two nights. 
and we were hanging out. We went to the concert. We were, we were, we were just, we had a really fun time, but the best part about it that we didn't realize was that, uh, Mondays through Thursdays, uh, not only did they have free breakfast and free lunch and free dinner, and it was a really nice buffet with pretty good food, but also they had an open bar. Yeah. Yes, yes. I, 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 with I, I, free drink. Ball. Yeah, so it, it was literally like a week of a hangover. Because I was like, I'm going to have a beer. Oh, now I'm going to have wine. Oh, now I'm going to have champagne. Now I'm going to mix this champagne with wine. Now I'm going to have a beer in one hand and wine. In the other. And OK, now I have no idea what's going on. And I can't speak English anymore. I'm speaking <laughs> tongues and I can't walk. So that was that was a that was a fun couple of days. We may or may not be going back there also during spring break. Just Natasha and I. So that would be fun. OK, cool. So, Sounds like fun. So there you go. We've got to, I've got some things lined up that I'm excited about, so that's good. I've also been going to the gym a lot. I'm I'm trying to get down to my ideal weight, which is my birth weight. Did you uh six pound eight ounces? Did you blast it on leg day? I'm I'm sorry I I can't hear you because you keep breaking up and also the clacking of Maxwell's toys is just super loud. If you could really just all I'm hearing is just clackety clack 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 clack. So if you could try and quiet down these mega blocks. Sorry, they're not duplos. They're mega blocks. <laughs> sorry, Maxwell. If you could try and quiet down your mega blocks, I would appreciate it, Maxwell. And don't. Okay. Okay. But just try and quiet down your mega blocks, okay? Okay. Thank you. So I can, I, I'm having a, you know, this isn't the best quality of a Skype call. It's going to be swimsuit season soon, so I just want to get down to fetus size. Yeah. Because that's just important to me, you know? To get down to fetus size, that's that's something that I'm I'm shooting for. It's a worthy on goal. Monday, I actually ran. Yeah, on Monday, I actually ran four point one four miles. Uh huh. And that's actually, and that's actually more than a marathon. So I I think I'm doing pretty good health wise. My actual goal, my actual goal for going to the gym and all that is. I want to get in so much shape that I'll be like a 30-ish woman after a breakup. I'll be on social <laughs> media or Instagram showing off my abs and my song like X for a reason. But I won't be trying to make an ex-boyfriend jealous because my job doesn't feel jealousy. Yeah. But you know, you know, you know how sometimes people will like, oh. Uh, we just broke up, so I'm gonna get super buff. It that's basically how I feel, but about a corporation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Want to be like, hey, corporate, you could have had these abs. I, you I, know, I think you should, and I totally support you in this. Mm -hmm. Thank you. That's uh, what I'm working on. And I think so do you think I've been going to the gym. A lot. And I do think that that they will they will eventually notice, and you know, try to slap you with a cease and desist or something like that yeah try and get try and get back together with me and i'll be like uh-uh uh, <laughs> you can't have this should have put a <laughs> ring on it you know that's what i that's what i'm thinking 